Well, let's talk about the red blood cells. When you're measuring red blood cells, what, how do you measure it? Well, there's a couple of things that we use. One is a hem hematocrit, one is a hemoglobin. They're, they basically tell you the same thing, but a hematocrit is the volume of red blood cells when they spin it down in a centrifuge. And the hemoglobin is a measure of the protein in the blood cells, so it's a little more accurate. So the red blood cells are responsible for making you feel good or what? They make you feel good and what happens is that hemoglobin carries oxygen which all of our cells need and so it's how we get the oxygen we need for our cells to work. What's a normal, if you can't, do you have a normal hemoglobin hematocrit? Yeah, roughly speaking it's somewhere between 12 and up to maybe 18. It's a little less for women than it is for men. And the hematocrit would be? Somewhere around 45, down, Some, 35 to 45, like something like that. So if it's real low, you can say you don't have enough red blood cells, and if it's too high, you've got too many. Do you ever have too many red blood cells? You can have too many red blood cells. That's and called polycythemia. Polycythemia.